Buiga Island, an island that is, is surrounded by a clog of swamp, where its residents have found means of clearing part of the swamp to create a way for them to and fro from the island. The main means of transport used at the island is use of border borders that transport everything at the island, including building materials. Manya ne dobozi, wasa mozes, chia person ni wechi tundu chino, buiga, echi zinga. Echi zinga chino, chiriko abantu, mtuale vili, mwenkumi bili, mwana mwabasatu. Most of the population of Buiga Island is women and young children. Some of these women have been victims of domestic violence. Some of them had lost hope in life. <laughs> St. Anne Foundation through St. Anne's Children's Center and the St. Anne's Killing Program brought hope to the faces of the women in Buiga Island and the children in Buiga Island. My name is Kugumi Kriza Susan. Amanya Gangezena Abile Sofia. I love St. Anne Children's Center. Banga and Giriza Uksumano Kuandika. There is lack of safe and clean water. That is why St. Anne Foundation constructed a borehole for the people in the community, but still is not enough to accommodate all the people at the island. There are low literacy levels where women and their children are not educated. St. Anne Foundation brought hope to some of these women with St. Anne's Children's Center and St. Anne's Killing Program. morning. Gambongo, Amenyagange, what is your name? So, Kudamunti, my name is Nabi Esmail. These women come at the center when they cannot read and write. They are taken into a literacy class, that is the literacy adults class, where they are taught how to read and write, and then transferred to the tailoring class where they can measure clothes, where they can sew and make clothes that are in turn sold to improve their standards of living. Natandi kila kapale, nentunga, katika kapale kano soro katunda, nentuna mwa kasente, akasoro kunyamba, naba nabange. St. Anne Foundation has empowered these women to engage in economic activities, to have hope for the future, no matter what they've been through in life. St. Anne's Children's Center is teaching the children of Buyiga Island simple education. My name is Ruth. I am a trainer at St. Anne Foundation. I train kids how to, lead, how to read and learn. We teach them how to interact and love one another. We teach them so that they become future good citizens of the nation. There is also lack of safe and medical care at the island where they have only one medical facility at the whole island. Partner with us to build a children and skilling center for these women and for these orphan children in Buiga Island to put a smile on their face. I welcome everyone who is willing to provide anything to these yearning kids. They are willing to learn, they are passionate kids, they are interesting. Uh, my name is Abel Roberts, Sakayombia, the founder. So when I came to Buiga, I found a very good environment and um, with a number of challenges uh, which are within the area. Since I'm working with um, children and women, 
it was really very interesting for me. I could see a number of uh, teenage pregnancies rising. I could see a number of children who are not going to school. So I started a project called uh, uh, Skilling uh, for, the, for the young girls and young women or adolescent girls that we are helping from here. So I thank everybody who has supported us to make sure that we do uh, these activities. I believe uh, if we get uh, more support, more connections from around the world, we can be able to put up more projects to see how we can fight uh, poverty within Buyiga Island. Sent and Foundation. Empowered children, transformed communities.